This series will see us making a create, retrieve, update and delete application with Ionic 3 and Firebase. So as you can see, we have a shopping list right now. And what we can do here at this point is add something to our shopping list. If we added something, for example, cheesecake, and a number of cheesecakes that we want to buy is obviously something like four. You can see that this is updated on our shopping list. If we select our cheesecake, maybe we've changed our mind and instead we want only two. Perhaps we're cutting back on the calories. We could then click edit item. Of course, we could change the item name as well if we wished, but let's select edit item. This is updated here on our application, but more importantly, this is updated and of course added to our Firebase database. So this is one of the awesome things about Firebase is that any change we make here on the client side, we can push it across to Firebase quickly and easily. As well as that, we can also select a particular item and of course hit that delete button. Perhaps we no longer want the cheesecake, we can select delete. This will remove it from our application and of course remove it from the database. As you can see, it's completely been removed from Firebase right now. And this series takes it super slow. We comment line by line and you'll see for the amount of power that we do have, we aren't writing a significant amount of code. All of this code is easy to understand. And like I said, it's all commented anywhere. We have an in-depth discussion where we need to. We don't consider anything like authentication or validation at this point, but all we're looking at in this series is that create, retrieve, update, delete. We want to have that solid. We want to have it backed up in a database. And of course, Firebase is a great suggestion for that. So come along with me in this series as we create ourselves a shopping list application with Ionic 3 and Firebase.